The Word of God encourages us not to be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Are you filled with doubt of what tomorrow will bring? Are you troubled and feeling hopeless about tomorrow? Receive God's Word today of hope and assurance of a better tomorrow. You will be changed. Let us pray. Lord, we are grateful. We're grateful that you are faithful. We're grateful that you are the God who is committed to us. We're grateful because you said in your word, my covenant will I not break, neither will I alter that which my lips have spoken. So you mean everything you say, and you say everything that you mean. Lord, it's, it's a thing of joy to have you as our Father. So this evening, speak to us again, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I've titled this short message, Invest in Power. When you invest in anything, you spend time in that thing, you spend money in that thing, you dissipate energy and effort in that thing. So when you're investing in anything, you put in, you keep putting into it. Now, this is saying we're to invest in power, channel effort towards power, channel your emotions, your energy, your resources towards power. What is power? Power is the display of strength, the demonstration of might and ability. Now, power makes things to happen. Power is attractive. Whether it's mental power, whether it's physical power, whether it's emotional power, whether it's political power or military power, power is explosive, power is attractive, power is mighty. Power has a way of com compelling attention and commanding attention. But guess what? You must never be driven by power. You must always be superior to power. That way you'll be effective. That way you'll be humble. That way you'll be who God has ordained for you to be. Let me read something to us in the Gospel of St. Luke chapter 2 from verse 46 to 48. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. He was hearing them and asking them questions. He was listening to them and was asking them questions. And all that heard him were amazed at his understanding, meaning his questions were with understanding. There, were, there must have been wisdom on display in the questions he was asking. So he was asking intelligent questions and then answers, meaning there were even times they would ask questions and he would answer them. So his answers made sense. See mental power at work. See spiritual power at work in the life of Jesus. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, son, why hast thou de dealt thus with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. Anyways, the story of Jesus at the age of 12, when they went uh, for one of the uh, uh, ceremonies in Jerusalem, and when they were going back, after three days, they didn't find him in the company. They weren't careless like most people say. It was a tradition that when they were descending the Temple Mount, having gone to worship, uh, children are allowed to you know to flow freely with relatives because they always did that in company but it was by the third day they realized that he wasn't around those that he ought to have been around so they went back and finally they found him in the temple he was listening to the priests and he was asking them questions and the priests were fascinated surprised and they marveled at his understanding and at his answers now this was at age 12. what do you think was happening at age 13 age 14, age 15, age 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25, 28, 29, up till the age of 30. Guess what? We always say preparation time is never lost time. The backstage determines the front stage. If you don't have a backstage, you can never have a front stage. A movie production that does not have a backstage can never have a front stage. The set will be a mess. Jesus Christ was active in preparation before he stood out at the age of 30 to commence his ministry. And the effect of that ministry of three years and probably six months is still with us right now. Why? The foundation was effective. He took time to invest in power. You must take time to invest in power by your patience, by your learning, by your training, by your observation. Invest in power. Grow in grace. Grow in knowledge. See you tomorrow as we talk more about these things. God bless you. Bye-bye. We believe you have been blessed. Join us at 9 a.m. tomorrow at Vibrant Church, Queen School Road, Patagiari, for a life-changing experience in our glorious worship service. We are confident that with Jesus, your tomorrow will be better than today. Come now with us and we will do thee good. God bless you.